Thanks to your generous donations to our Kickstarter funding campaign. Life Barker Podcast presents Fundraising Inferno 5. Okay, welcome to this commentary track for Barn of the Blood Llama. And in case you don't know what this movie is, uh, I don't blame you because it's a really weird movie from 1993, I think. And, um, well, I guess you'll find out throughout the commentary uh, how weird this movie is. So we're joined here today by uh, a bunch of friends who came over for the event. We got Joe. Say hi. Hi, I'm back behind the camera. And Catalina. Hello. And... Crystal. Crystal. And Kim. And Anna. Oh, Anna's outside Anna's with uh, Katie. I don't blame her because this movie's not going to be that good. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ryan, you're here with me along with Rob. Rob, how are y'all? Hey. Here's Anna and Katie. Hello. So, all right. Go, go hop on the couch, guys. So, all, all three of us have, have tried to watch this all the way through to prepare, and none of us made it. Failed miserably. Wait, wait, you're telling me this is worse than Batman and Robin? It is much worse. Oh, no. I have seen that either. Well, if you're familiar with trauma films, this is not a trauma film, but if, you're, if you like those, you may like this. <laughs> you may like this, because this is... I think that there's a genre for this called Hicksploitation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's, Redneck Zombies. That's yeah, Hicksploitation. Redneck zombies. So here we go, Barn of the Blood Llama. And I hope you have the DVD. If you don't, uh, you can buy it by snail mail from one of the producers, Gibby. He's going to be in the movie. He's the guy with the eye patch that keeps switching eyes throughout the entire film. The one that has the eight on it, like an eight ball? Yeah, like the eight ball. So I bought this copy from him, and he also sells VHS copies of this. This is a 25th anniversary edition, and it's just a burned DVD with like someone wrote something on it with a Sharpie. So that's the 25th anniversary edition. Yeah. It's more personalized. Yeah, yeah. That's right. If you have, lucky enough to have the 25th anniversary edition, just stick it on your player, and we're going to do a countdown, and you'll hit play and start the movie. And you can't, you can't order it on the internet. You have to mail in the money to $16, I think. That's, that's what I paid for it. So, my sweet $16. Here we go. Okay. But we've, obviously, we've run short on Clyde Barker movies to do commentaries on, so... Can we all, do, this is a can we all shout out a five... Countdown? Yeah, for yeah. the yeah. zero people that have this at home that are gonna... And uh, you got your finger on the play? Yeah, I'm sure. I guess the finger on the play. All right, so... <laughs> We're watching... All right, are you guys ready? ready. Five, Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, play! Play Oh, there's a second menu. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Another, one, another menu. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off. That's specific for... God yeah. help us all. This uh, this one. And maybe gravy film. Yeah, Directed. that blew my eardrums out when I had that with headphones, that tone. I wonder if it's white or dark gravy. Here we go. Starts well in the barn. Yeah, my, my notes for this, all it says is what the hell <laughs> am I watching? <laughs> well, this is how most horror stories start in yeah. the barn. <laughs> yep. Starting a record by candle or by match light. I thought at first that that was a sound effects record that was just playing rooster sound. It's the rooster mix track. Yeah. <laughs> and here's our first llama. Yeah. He obviously does not like the, rec the rooster record. Is that the llama? That is the yeah. llama, yes. Okay, Skrillex. This is already better than Batman and Robin. I know. <laughs> this is like some lynching stuff, dude. This is like what happens when Tangirl goes to Mexico for the weekend. Yep. <laughs> Tijuana. Tijuana's some llama. And it does mess call. Oh, I like that artistic choice of changing, messing with the uh, aspect oh. ratio. This is uh, clearly inspired by uh, Carpenter's The Thing opening right there. That's <laughs> kind of dope, actually. How do you do that? 
Like, I don't know. Is it maybe they burn the film in slow motion? I think that's old uh, animation cells. Oh. Sounds like it's drawn on. What? Yeah. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty cool stylistic things done in this. Yeah. So Clive Barker describes the dreaded male berserker syndrome. Imagine you have a You know, I'm sure with the DVD sales, he could stand to spend the thirty dollars to get the audio mastered. I was thinking to get real latex gloves instead of those heinous like sandwich packing gloves. And it seems to me that that <laughs> recording was made like ten years before the movie, because that's like Weed exactly. World era. Yeah. Like, 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 it's not. I mean, there's a there's a blog for this. It's Barn of the Blood Llama Blogspot dot com, and in it you have like, who kidnapped Clive Barker for this cameo? And that says, Gibby did. He came to town to plug his comics and new book, and I was doing a live show, and I said to my co-producers of Cutting Edge Comics that they would not get the studio unless I had film of Clive to put him in my movie. So he did it, and Kevin came up with something for him to say, and he read them off the cues. It was very cool, although his behind-the-scenes agents or manager did not like the look of the camera or other stuff going on, I think. There you go. Oh, man. And you're never going to see Clive Barker in the movie again. For that's it, that's it. I mean, we've seen. They're, they're gonna intercut a little more. We've seen Clyde Barker's name appear more times than we've seen Clyde Barker show up. Yeah. They oh no! Oh, the llama. Why did they Evil just show up there? Because Demon that, llama. That woman gets killed later on in the that's movie. That's a kingster llama. That's a spoiler. Yeah, that was a spoiler. Oh, let's get a good look. Oh, is this where it gets good. Yeah. Oh, We're gonna get it on. Woo this is my new favorite movie, Jose. It's like two heroin addicts mud wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have we seen, have seen, seen heroin that. addicts mud wrestling. It's not as hot as this. I feel like there should be a chicken in there somewhere. When my flight was delayed, I was trying to watch that in the gate with all these people around me, and I got so embarrassed I had to close the computer. <laughs> Did you just say that was a real llama? That's <laughs> wrong. Well, not in that scene. Uh oh. But there was a real llama showing up in the movie. It was Gibby. He's one of the groups in the film. Hey, that's who uh, messaged you on Facebook. And yeah. Hi, Gibby. I said llama trauma. Threatened your life. I'm doing it right now. There aren't enough movies nowadays where people argue about who gets to use the wheelchair. Jack, help me. We gotta get into town with some wheelchair. And yes, this is entirely dumb. Cut out my fucking uh, wheelchair for this. I, I wrote the, this line down because it's so much nonsense. Gotta get to town for some wool girl before the jump tackle closes. <laughs> what? You know, <laughs> everybody understands that, right? Well, if you read their blog, there's a lot of weird stuff here, too. I mean, Where was this film? This was filmed in Austin, Texas, I think. I was about to say, this yeah. whole movie is like just a meth trip in Texas. Good like, this <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Someone asked in this blog that they got the producer said, what's the origins of the film? And he says, rabbit gecko's bluff and Wizard of Oz and faster pussycat kill kill and Kirko's weird sense of humor. I don't Kirko see any is, of that in this. Yeah, no, this is just yeah. methods and options, sorry. Right. <laughs> we need cowboys and llamas. Yeah. 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 I mean, How honestly, can you go wrong though. Honestly, with the sound being this way, I mean, his his the way they shot this movie, they probably weren't capable of recording audio I, simultaneously. I didn't realize that Bach spelled his name B O C K. Bach. He's like the he's the rock star of this movie. Oh yeah. And she's gonna pick him up right now. Bach like what a chicken would say. She's got a white trash bed yeah. She's always sitting up there. I don't remember seeing her. Anyway. They both work, work in a diner, and that's the horrible hats they have to I wear. I was wondering what the hats were. Yeah. Like, it's like a fucking like yeah. yeah. Okay, I was wondering what that was. I hope you all enjoyed the color in that scene, because it, I, it's, there's almost no color in the whole movie. Seattle? Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> Says 
everyone from Texas everywhere. Where did you get that accent from? <laughs> In the blog, there's an interview where someone asks, give me your most twisted memory of filming. And he says, there were too many from having to produce 32 hours of live Waco fire tank going in the compound footage, live anti-government survivalist shows to get the llama head effects done. Whatever that means. What? That's amazing. Well, it looks like it's like a type of puppet. So, like, who's in charge of this? Then to get the miniature barn built uh, to six hours of rehire sound and background sounds and being chased down by North by Northwest biplanes in East Texas cotton fields. <laughs> That's a dope car. That's yeah. a nice car. Wonder who you stole that from. I'm gonna start right from the car club. It's like what we do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Also, they probably weren't able to secure permission yeah, for everything, so they had to do it, um, you know, guerrilla style, which means yeah. you just, you know, you're just like running around. Uh, yeah. Oh, keep it down. That one's not good for much now. Oh, so you're going to take the tow truck for You break her, you buy. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They ran over the lawn. <laughs> You need triple A. Insurance farms. You got baby powder, <laughs> like olive oil. Uh-huh. Look, she knows. Yeah. You call yourself an animal lover? You don't know the meaning of the word. Maybe you should get a bumper sticker that reads "Practice random acts of violence and senseless cruelty." Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yes, that's my favorite line now. Yeah. So is he gonna drag the llama along? Wait, what? After reading her the riot act about how she doesn't take care of animals. Uh, the guy with the suitcase, yeah. He's yeah. telling her that? Yeah. He's got no business telling her that. Well, he's an animal lover. You know that patch game? That thing really works good. Hell, I'm already down to two packs a day. I think that guy's a doctor who's going to switch the brain of that guy with the eye patch. You know what that llama meant to me. It was my wife. You know what that llama meant to me. Really? What? It's a really quotable movie. Oh. Like, I can see myself with my friends being like, you know what that llama did to me? You got on your shoulders. What the hell? Is that llama supposed to twitch like that? And so apparently, uh, the, the guy who wrote this. Oh my god! Llama surfing! Yes! Surfing that llama. Surfing that llama. Right? Can we get some hashtag? Hashtag keep surfing that llama. I already did a hashtag llama trauma and there were other already 30 other people that had hashtagged that. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> already. Yes. Yes. It already had 30 tags. So I was like, wow, I will research that later. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and spew awkward hashtags for us to find. We don't click on it at the end of the day. <laughs> Okay. So wait, these people are like cooking in their underwear Ooh. in the middle of the, I'm assuming the summer, in Texas. <laughs> There's a lot of Botox yeah. on the one in the middle. Yeah. I'm not sure she can really smile. Oh, so I think this is the jump tackle right here. Stop here, Tony. The jump tackle here gets a no growth Yep, he's, he's getting some... He's trying to get some oh. wool grow out of the jump tackle right now. Oh, that's so, insane. Yeah. So he's and he got a like chicken mask. Stuff out of the garbage? <laughs> yes, that's the okay. jump tackle. That's the jump tackle. Hashtag and he got a chicken mask. Yeah. The first thing I heard about the trauma, trauma, somebody actually got hurt by a horse in a llama and he's talking about his hospital goes. No! <laughs> Another thing the producer said is I have over 10 hours of the making of this film on videotape. Ten That's hours. really bad luck. Yeah. Wow. And played it in the local access station. All right. Well, I wonder who saw that. I mean, nobody right. watches that. There, there was a special feature, but it looked like a bunch of nothing, right? It yeah. was like a countdown. You're going to love it. Take a souvenir, then, Steven. You wanted it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, chicken mask. Yeah, of course. He's so, still fishing. Like shot chicken mask. We want it all the way to the net. So that guy spends all day in the bed of that truck, just waving his fishing yeah. like pole. Casting his fishing rod. What's really sad is that that actually is something that could happen here in Texas, right? Would you be surprised if you saw that? I Anna? would not be surprised. No. Nope. I was just For at real. Costco and I saw a comic book called Bible Force, yeah. superheroes from the Bible, and I was like, yeah, I'm in Texas. Really? <laughs> yeah. We're all, we're not all like that. Sure. Yeah. I saw that in Seattle too. I saw that at the store. <laughs> The other thing that this guy, uh, this guy that's driving the, the, the tow truck has crutches for no reason. Through the whole, he walks far through the whole movie, yeah. So here's, here's a, what kind of shooting schedule and budget were you working with? 
Well, we started the movie in July and shot about 80% of the movie that summer of 93. Then we went into weekends. I would suggest that you shoot the whole movie in two weeks and get your tit shots first and don't wait for effects. No way. Do not wait for the effects. If you have effects in your movie, do them first and figure out how you're going to do them and shoot them first. Actors are easy. Effects are hard to come by. Sounds like a trauma movie. Right? He says, basically put most of the film on my credit card and I think that Kevin, who's the director, did too. Got some money and time of energy from Kelly. I don't know who Kelly is. We started out with 4K in credit card debt, but this doesn't count all the freebies that we got. No one got paid and we did not have craft services. Borrowed everything and shot over the four years with the use of three llama ranches, eight Super 8 cameras, and lots of panache. So, oh, you know, that's so how you do it. There you go. I'm going to start saying that our stuff has lots of panache. <laughs> Bloody infected dildo. Panache. <laughs> but that explains the sound they shot on Super 8. Yeah. And that explains all the, the color issues and the... Um... Oh, oh, there's an explanation for that. Uh, this movie had three different DPs and five directors. Oh, and, <laughs> okay. And eight Super 8 cameras, along with two 16mm cameras loaded with retreads from another flick rolling everywhere. Wow. Wow. That's definitely it's a... Like, uh, clusterfuck is not the word, but it's no. the first thing that comes to mind. God, and they shot in July? Yeah. So now uh, every single character we've seen in the movie are all together in this... Llama funeral scene, we don't know why. Well, she ran over the llama. That fake animal lover, how dare she? But now all the people from the, um, okay, from the diner are here out. too. <laughs> Hashtag, will PETA slow down? <laughs> The, the producer complains that they shot this in July uh, and so there were unnerving levels of sun and fire ants biting you and sweat. Yeah, like well, it's pretty not fun. Here. By the way, at the end of the funeral, he said, and now let's mosh. And that, what, mosh? Yeah, like the, mosh pit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought the sprinklers were. Okay. It is a metal so, funeral. Yeah. So it's a metal so funeral. Okay. okay. They're washing it. Thank you for clearing that up. Just a preacher? He was tanked. Oh, well, you should have been there last Sunday. He ended the Lord's Prayer with a shot. Oh, Hashtag Texans don't talk like that. We don't know. She from she from Alabama. Probably. We got a bail on his hat. That's and here's the, the, the big question that they asked the producer. Who's the one amongst you into bestiality? And he says, hmm, not me, but you know, that Dr. Albert was certainly into the reenacting of the Hummer jets. Should have seen the outtakes trying to make it look real enough. It was like fisticuffs with a little llama who couldn't sit still. Oh my god, that poor llama! I have no idea Jesus. what this means. I'm mortified. Can we advocate? Like, we need a petition? Yeah. Sure. Have fun with that. Are they feeding it correctly? I love this llama shape. They didn't even have craft services. <laughs> that, that llama that was, was all their to death. They put all their budget into that out. llama shaped casket. Oh wow, that's like a Viking funeral. Yeah. Yeah. That llama, like, I ain't llama sure what about my life. They said that this movie oh, was made in Austin and mean. Dripping Springs. I don't yeah. know where that is. God, my sister. Yeah. I don't know how they did this long tracking shot. Maybe it was on a bicycle. This is the nicest shot in the whole movie. It is. <laughs> One of those like five is, directors yeah. that they had, I guess. Yeah. They actually scored someone worth a damn. Yeah. Well, I enjoy it because we're gonna go back to 16 millimeter pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah, and they kept the whole shot in here because they knew it was the nicest thing they had. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and people, they, like, as he's tracking down the, the pond, yeah. people run around the camera and just get back in line. <laughs> 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 it even has a little window for the llama's eye right That is a fancy car. <laughs> and that was the most expensive prop in the movie, yeah, probably. probably. yeah. This is so, well, the whole movie is that way. So just to recap, this is mad veterinarian Dr. Albert who's been performing strange experiments and stranger sex acts with the local llama herds. Bessie, his favorite subject, escaped from the World of Wool Ranch, easily eluding crippled redneck brothers Jug and Jibby. Bessie manages to infect the whole herd with male berserker syndrome. So how can Bessie infect the herd with male berserker syndrome? That means Bessie was a male, right? Well, also 
I'm not gonna lie, if you go back, the gloves were different. He had latex gloves on in the last frame. There you go. The gloves have actually changed three times. This guy's I mean, make up artists talking, but yeah. I've had three different variants of gloves. Right, and this guy's I'm concerned for the so llamas. Nice. What if the llamas have allergies? Uh, yeah. I don't think they're really concerned about that. I'm allergic. Uh, this director shift? Yes. This, this is uh, yeah. when the camera took acid. Yeah. Yeah, look, I think we went into director shift now that we know there's multiples. Were they crucifying Bach in that scene? Uh -huh. It looked like they were like hanging him off one of yeah. those like leather things. Yeah. So like, at one point they said that Bach is doing treatments, and in another place they say that he's a clone of the rock star Bach. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm, be both. I'm interested in the sense of I, I'm waiting for the ending. So what is yes. this like, right? Is this bizarre? <laughs> what the Are hell is that? Is that the I hope like he's having a like, yeah, film shot or something. Do you keep, look like you keep wanting to like hold Catalina's yes. hand in confidence? <laughs> You're like, what are we doing? Yeah. This movie is... hand is inching closer and closer to yours like as the movie goes by. This movie is frighteningly <laughs> bad. That's a shot of them filming the exactly. movie. Exactly. <laughs> He's self-consciously reaching for his insert. What the hell is this? Video here. <laughs> oh, okay. And you think it's going to be like a rock video, but it's not. There's no singing. It's not. They, they it's stopped. Just, just synthesizer the whole time. Dude, they totally stopped shooting on Super 8 and they went like full camcorder. It's a commercial for the world of Wolverine. They're shooting on VHS. Oh, they went back to that old yeah. crappy director. What is that rope that, that they're tying everybody so with? Cute. With what just happened there? I don't, well, like, God. And Resort Lodge. Okay, we are in Arkansas. You know, maybe it's supposed to be like a uh, Sorry, an advertisement for World yeah. of Wool, and be like, yeah, guys, we're having fun. Yeah. And all the people from there. It, it is an advertisement. For, yeah. Yeah, wool ranch. A ranch of wool. And scrub that guy wool. must be a trapper. <laughs> and they have cut <laughs> facials. Yeah. Dude, I totally meant to listen to that music this morning because it's gonna get me out of my head. It's been kind of rushed today, so. What are they? Wool covered eggs. Oh, fertile wool covered eggs. Yeah. That's where the mamas come from. Oh, furry eggs. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, that's what's in the ink. That's attached to him. That's his umbilical. That's what I guess. Yeah, like, is that supposed to be an umbilical? Oh my god. That's kind of what I feel like. It's like, um. Oh god. It's not a bad Cud facials. Oh, yes. Individual results, maybe. What is cud? That's when, it, when a cow chews up grass and turns into cud. Oh, okay. So is it llama cud, though? Oh, no. Oh, gross. Well, I've seen snail facials somewhere. It's like red. I know. What's that? I'm gonna have Wait, did he get out of his wheelchair? Did you no, he never that? needed his wheelchair. Um, do you think that series oh, of commercials was like yeah, showing how this got transmitted to titties? Babe. Woo, titties! She was going there. Oh. Hey, there's the camp where they shot that part for the movie on. <laughs> Oh, I guess he's experiencing the berserker syndrome. Maybe. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say the, the umbilical cord kind of reminds me in uh, Lords of Salem, the Satan scene. So maybe like that's what they were going for. Obviously, like the four, never mind. Is it over? What happened? No. <laughs> Is that how it ends? Please. I, so I have like another hour of this. I know. I'd be okay with that. The system is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm gonna do you guys a favor. Stop. Like, what's the hell? Oh no! I like it. Yeah, well, your computer rage quit on a movie. This is a negative B movie. What this oh, is, oh, man. This is There's like no a, chapters, of course. I guess we're gonna have to call it a Z movie when it's so it's bad it can't fit into the first three categories, so they have to go negative. Oh my gosh. It's a Z Why movie. Is, it, yeah. Is that what you call a, what do you call a, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're just B movies, man. They're just craptacular movies, man. I don't remember that at all. Holy crap, we have so much left of this. 
So this is like the. So just just to specify the the burned CD that was the 25th anniversary edition. So this comment actually quit on that, us, that, and that we're uh, to hiccup get it is going to be saved for the 30th anniversary. Come, yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, ooh. oh, hell yeah! Sorry, it's a Pet Cemetery. John. Yeah, Lithgow. John Lithgow is going to be in the new uh, version of Pet Cemetery. As Herman Munster. As Herman Munster. Yeah. So, so this thing. You heard it here first. They keep jumping. They keep doing like uh, zooms on the guy's face while he's talking. I'm synthesizing a youth regeneration serum. Look, she's Instagram ready. She is filtered out. Yeah. And no one's seeing anything. <laughs> Does she have a cold score? We don't know. Has this actress been around this whole movie? Yeah. yeah. Or she's the one with the sunglasses. She's the cool guy too. I'm a oh. fan. Oh, she's the animal lover. Oh yeah. So she didn't have anywhere to go because her car was trash. I wonder if some producers like told her we up and they're like your nipple circumference versus your eye circumference. You're getting one of the two. Are you an A cup with a hefty nipple? And you divide that over the diameter and get caught. Exactly. I expect to hear lots of people who talk like that guy to you know that we're in Texas. Oh yeah, that's all <laughs> the conventions we've told. He's the most gorgeous catalyst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take my job! No, I'm sending a message saying I need you guys to get sold this way. Help yourself, my bar is in the bathroom. There's actually a scene later on where they'll subtitle him because you can't understand what he's saying. Oh my god. Oh man, that's some dope that's fire. Did he just say them? Did he just say them? Hey Ryan, can you hand me that? No, no, the papers. Because this movie came with something called the Barnacle, which is a little fanzine by the producer. So I'm going to open that up and see what it says there. It's called a supple mental to the flick. Barn, okay, what is that? The blood llama. Okay, what is that? It's called the barnacle. It's a fanzine oh my gosh, that was sent to me along like with the movie. That looks like the little things that I used to make in middle school about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, real. Right? I don't know about you. Oh. I'm going back to the ranch. I'm going back to the ranch. So it says here, ancient llama eggs unearthed in Peru. Rut Rutgers News Service. Lima, Peru archaeologists digging in at Mayan site south of here have discovered what it is to be believed the oldest known llama eggs ever found in South America. Pictographs on rock walls near the site reveals what some say, maybe what the ancients have been searching for all along, which is the secret. So they don't say what the secret is. Dude, this chick has been in just a brawl this entire time. Yeah, it's weird. At some point, she'll probably just lose it. Maybe. That's so they're all eating llama haggis. Llama what? Haggis. H a g g i s. Yeah. Hold on. Is that from the dead llama that they buried, or is they just went out and killed one of the llamas from their farm? Where in the llama buffet are we? I don't know. I am. I'm kind of confused. Like which nationality is in charge of this llama? What is wrong with you? Here's an article that says the Llama Town News has just reported another incident where, whereby the llamas have found a new way of driving off-road vehicles. They have found one of the greasy squeezers many mini televisions. Look, this you have to read this to, to believe it. Like, whatever this guy is on, I, I want some of that. And there's more stuff here. So he sent you all this stuff with the DVD? Yeah. yeah. With this wow. special edition. And this. I don't know what oh, this dude. is. You cut it up and you send it to your friends. Did he? And here's Real Rural World Wait, Report. He, he, starting sent, he gave you like craptacular postcards to send to your friends, but he doesn't want anyone to watch this movie yes. unless they get, he scores 16 bucks. That's it. I hate this person. Yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering where are our bumper stickers? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. They probably should have made the animal lover bumper stickers. Oh, no, wait, no, that, the line from earlier about hating animals. Bruce Lager should change her bumper sticker to. Whatever he. I wonder if there was a makeup artist in this in this movie. I think makeup artist in this movie was just like a Halloween store. Yeah. Just smear Vaseline on the camera. Oh, we're changing off. 
Oh, there's the farm report. You know what? Now I'm seeing where they got the inspiration from that eye beauty in Harry Potter. <laughs> He's explaining why the doctor's car isn't in the movie anymore. What? Because the llama chewed off the distributor cap and ate it. Why was right it away. open in the uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I like this lady's hat when they go back to her hair in a minute. It looks like they wrapped like a trash bag around it. <laughs> so barnacle. Screech like a severed head at Dr. Albert, the smarmy head. I'm pretty sure sure that's not how you spell it. Is this an experimental? I don't even know anymore. Rampaging hot, hers and sex scarf, blood spewing toxic llamas. That has nothing to do with the movie. Nope. nope. Not. Wait, I think I think that's the lady. She ran over the llama. Oh, cool. She looks like she's squatting over to go poo. Yeah. Actually, I really like this artwork. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not joking. I, I like it. I think it's fun. Recommended, Recommended for mature audiences 15 years and over. Oh, yeah. That's, I guess yeah. you only need to be that mature for this movie. If you're drunk and high, that makes it even better. So, and they have dung pellets that serve two purposes. They can cook with them on the barbecue, or they put them in the shotgun and shoot people with them. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that. Very versatile. Yeah. You came to the wrong fucking gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, but. I'm just really, really confused by all of the weird capitalization in this barnacle. Yeah, same ladies. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just with different hats. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was weird. Wait, so they purposefully made this look like shit. Did you see that? Before it switched, before it switched uh, cut, it went from black and white to color. Yeah. Oh man, here comes the sexy llama. I think so. So they completely like what? Did they just carry lingerie with them in their bags? I guess in their purses. Yeah. It's not unheard of. So yeah. I guess it makes sense. It's literally the definition of turn your brain on off before watching this movie. I know. I'm like, yeah, this one's with me, so. my bra. No, but they like, they, they were wearing completely different outfits, and now they're very popular. And their dog is a pretty good actor. Yeah. Best actor in the movie. Instant forward. Yeah. 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 Oh man, Gibby can. Oh my gosh. Where's the water around this place? <laughs> this is as well, far as I got when Jose's plane came. Uh, Me too, I feel kind of dirty. Dirty. Want to, you tramp. <laughs> Me? Well, look who's talking to Queen of Yeehaw last night. You know who? <laughs> oh my god, Queen of Yeehaw! Yes! It's funny that Gibby's only idea of someone needing water is if they're thirsty, because he doesn't know what washing himself is. <laughs> yeah. Did he say I got a crypt? Yeah. Oh. Creek. Oh, like creek? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That's hillbilly talk for creek. But you grew up in the Metroplex, so. I grew up around Metroplex white trash. There you go. So rural white trash was. That's a different kind of monster. There was a review that said, even fans of Roger Corman and early Sam Raimi will not be prepared for this movie. The guys at Mystery Science Theater 3000 would shudder in gleeful horror. Wow. I don't
don't know where they went. I think start, that's a good but, review. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I would go with yes. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. That's cool. Why are they Why using a milk mean? jug to put water on themselves? That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> They're in a creek. Is this the same body of water that the llama is at the bottom of? Hashtag titty shots. <laughs> And why would she just lift her shirt up like that much to yeah, pour so water stuff. with yeah. that milk jug? I don't. What I want to do to nurse our nose. Every day. Nectar turns. You kick my job. <laughs> why are you straining my blood while my teeth are spraying me a weekend? I don't want to show. You're going to make fun of me. There was, a, there was an article back from 1999 that said that they had secured a showing in Manchester, England. I know. And they were about to sign with an Australian distributor. So somebody was going to see this movie, I guess. Yeah. So what happened? Did they actually screen it in England? I, I have no idea. They watched it and said no. <laughs> they just liked the title. I mean, people, they, you know, distributors just buy shit and distribute it. They don't watch what the, half of what they're selling. Something from the bushes. I like these sound effects. What the fuck is that? They're throwing them. They're ninja stuff. Yeah, they're turning those pan lids. Yeah, they knocked the tree down. Oh, they just the guys' cats got. They just flew off. Yeah. Let's stop, girls. I am my boss. Sanitary good wax on the table. Oh, what What? Context, please. I don't know. Oh, and we also missed a scene where that that big lady from the diner got killed by a llama. Yeah. Oh. It's been like corrosive cut on her face and melted her face. Oh. Ooh. From the llama, like drool yeah, or and something. Yeah, I think okay. it also killed Bach. Maybe. I thought Bach just got the male preserver syndrome and got the weird hair. He did. Yeah. And then he was hit around by a llama. Was chasing him and that lady with the sunglasses down, and then I didn't see what happened after. Oh, okay. So the Berserker Syndrome, what, turns them into, like, cretins, basically? Yeah, I think so. That's a good like definition. What? What? Uh, uh, from Newton High. From Newcomb High? Yeah. The hair. Yeah. Right here. This is where Carl used to scrub the wool by hand. Oh, I think that they stopped off and they're doing a tour. They're doing a tour of wool, World of Wool. I can't believe that World barn is still standing up. Me too. Yeah, but that's the treatment they were doing for Bob uh, to make that's him younger. Stuff that they sell on late night TV. Wait, who are those, these women? They're different women. I think they oh, are. Yeah, they have to take a dip. Hey, that's the same shot from before. The same exact shot? <laughs> the same exact Dead shot. girl's yeah. blood. And a baby jar. At least they got the apostrophe right, so we know it's from one dead girl. <laughs> and if the cops show up, then show up, then their job's pretty easy from there. <laughs> Just in case there was any... Well, Captain oh, Obvious might have showed up to the scene. <laughs> Box skin <laughs> tissue. Yeah, you know. I was a bartender in Texas, what do you know? Now, we check the cud reaction. The cud reaction. My God, this is unbelievable. What does that have to do with being a bartender? <laughs> My yeah, God. we totally, we totally keep like, you know, science experiment <laughs> stuff in the back of the bar, right, Joey? Yeah, right. But we do have a Bart, and he is a mad scientist. Hashtag toxic testosterone. The <laughs> cud is turning into toxic testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. god. Just a little. That's a lot of blood. He's got an artery on his finger. <laughs> Amazing. 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 You need a transfusion. <laughs> and it's my fault. How amazing. <laughs> Just to go, you've got llama blood in your veins, yeah. not in your ear. Yeah, I'm glad he specified where where the llama blood was. Yeah. Well, I would have been be really specific. lost. Like that lady had llama blood in her car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got the dinner. Did you get 
Dent? Is that what she said? Yeah. Oh, she said something, lady. You didn't tell me. Is that the same actress that did the llama? Yes, yes. And she said, at least you got the dent out. Did you get it yeah, running? And he was like, toxic what? what? I needed to get I your car running? Oh, okay. So the cut is like when you spit out when you chew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what Anna was saying. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, speaking of... Properly oh, playing yeah. pianos. It's that guy. Like younger brother, that guy who sang the love thing to Texas Secession. So this shouldn't surprise anyone, but uh, the producer was asked in an interview, what about distribution? Any luck? He says, no luck. I don't know what Kevin's doing. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I won my 33%. I guess the web is the only place to go since Tromo don't want it. And Frady Cats in the no-budge worlds. Who do these people think they are doing to llamas, making this brave little film that could? Sheesh, give me a break. You don't know what you're missing, baby. 150 people showed up for the showing at the Gaddis Pizza and Beer, and they had to call the fire marshal. You don't know what you're missing, baby. Yeah, it's got like seven A's. <laughs> I was wondering why you were reading it that way. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky, Gibby. And they'll have brains as big as their balls. Okay, girls. They'll have brains as big as their butt? Let's step, okay, girls, let's step in wool. Oh. Oh, okay, they're like exercising now yeah. in the wool. It's oh, called yeah, low, it's low impact, resort. Ryan. It's low impact. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're making the best of their craftacular investment. And the dog is doing it. Because those are definitely the most comfortable shoes to exercise in. I'm going to personally hold Clive Barker accountable for me watching this movie. I'm, I'm going to take this movie to Texas Frightmare Weekend and, and, and force Clive Barker to watch this. Like, do you know? This is your fault. Actually, your would, attachment to this film destroyed two hours of our time. We watched this last night. Yeah, he's going to be like, Say we watched this a couple hours ago. What, what movie did you watch? Uh, Bond of the Blood Llama? I don't remember that. <laughs> We should ask him if he's seen it. We should. If you get a second to talk to him. Yeah. yeah. We'll, 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 we'll talk to him in line. Yeah. I, w I would definitely like to hear that his response to this movie. Yeah. It was all right. That means the youth dip's not working. It's having the opposite effect. Damn it. The youth dip isn't working. Jug's trying to make donate a brain. This guy's the worst actor I've ever <laughs> seen in my <laughs> life. Yeah, shaking like, my head doesn't work on the yeah. podcast, I guess. Oh. No. Well, we're also taping the, the y'all's yeah. reaction, so yeah. we do see you shaking your head. <laughs> now they're doing katanas. Oh, this, yeah, they're, 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 I think they're fighting the llamas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think they've got it under control. <laughs> Oh my god, don't throw the pitch for That me. was dangerous. That was. What is happening? They're doing another music video, I guess. Now he looks like Stacy Keach. Finally. The 1812 Is that like a, what do you call that thing? Musket? Yeah, I guess. It'd be funny. Oh, now they're bowling. I think they're going to bowling for llamas. Hashtag bowling for llamas. I wonder if James oh, Franco is going to, llamas. you know, star in a biopic of this filmmaker or producer. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, no, they're bowling the llama eggs. The llama eggs. That are fertile. And yeah, has anybody ever seen Mano's Hands of Faith? Yes. 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 That's been a long time. Jeez, I completely that's, forgot that's, that existed. Compared to this movie, that's like... That's less. They're yeah. screening. <laughs> they're screening. And they wanna that was the Ten Commandments yeah. compared to this yeah. piece of garbage. <laughs> It's actually this weekend. Let's talk about Manos the Hands of Faith. <laughs> Actually, some guy Marco discovered uh, uh, an almost pristine copy of that movie, and he restored it. Don't tell me yeah. He uh, he bought a bunch of movies in like a crate, and he discovered like a copy of Mono Sands of Fate, and he did this project where he's uh, restoring the entire film. Dang. Yes. He has a video camera. <laughs> dedicated. Wait, the llama's gonna bowl. Oh, I thought the llama. Oh yeah, the llama's gonna bowl for the chicks. Oh. Quicksand. I don't understand. Is it quicksand? 
in the grass? I don't know what oh, I'm oh, doing. Oh, oh, he's banging her over yeah. the head. He's banging her over the head oh, with the bowling ball. Oh, and so that, gosh. you know, put her into the ground. Okay. I don't know where these people Sweet. are today. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's great is that actually they probably live close by if it was filmed here in Texas. And they're like, oh, that was the name of that movie? Yeah. <laughs> the best movies are the ones where you need 10 people to figure out what's happening in this scene. But you, how many of there are us here? Let's see. But not like you. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. ten. Oh, yep. 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 Someone from this movie made it to CSI. <laughs> what? That's exciting. What? Are you kidding yeah. me? Cooper. Um, Fred Ellis. Wow, that's important. So, you got that to do as a maintenance engineer in 2001, but wow. he's still doing stuff. Talk about oh, a career change. He has. Was he a dead that's body? awesome. Good for him. <laughs> what is going on? He just. Guess I'm going to have to look at yeah, right, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I did, was her head knocked off with the used a mannequin head? Not. Maybe. Oh, the, do the, the llamas are driving now. That's what he was talking about. Oh. So, to recap what's going on in the movie, I found this review says, Searching for his lost love, Albert runs into the local one-hit rock star Bach, Earl Satoff, who has been suckered into undergoing the doctor's rejuvenation treatments at the World of Wool Spa. Bach has promised fast food vixens at the Greasy Squeeze, Janet and B, those are the two girls that were wearing the hats, and occasionally Connie Campbell, when Kirsten couldn't make it, that they can be in his next music video. Meanwhile, just passing, just passing through Tony runs into a llama with her car. While Stucker tries to fix it, Tony takes refuge in the world of wool with everyone else. Before long, everyone finds themselves under siege to the nightly rampages of angry, bloodthirsty llamas on the loose. Even the girls' junkyard ninja skills fail to keep them at bay. That's what we just saw. After a couple of attacks, the supply of victims needs replenishment, so a group of female pro bowlers you know, drops in. I think you're reading the script. Female <laughs> pro bowlers. <laughs> a group of female pro bowlers oh, drops in. Gonna have to, what's happening? It's a yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, man. oh, oh he's no. got a knife. Llama with a knife. Yeah, buddy. So. You remember that scene that you asked for context? It was the female pro bowlers were dropping by to have their balls polished and their holes re-drilled. One gets decapitated, but her head, kept alive by Dr. Albert, offers a clue to solving the gang's dilemma. Dilemma, yes! By discovering the contents of the surreal duffel bag of destiny. Is she Wow. Dude, whoever wrote that review is like, for real, the real MVP. Wait, what? Yeah. Did, oh, did she give him a condom? Yeah, yeah sheepskin. Sheepskin, yeah. Oh, oh no, she's, 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 into that. she's okay. gonna do this. All right, really that's cool. She's negotiating with the llama about this. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. I didn't know, I, I thought I saw Hey, we should upload game. this to Red Tube. You did not. No. <laughs> Movies do not watch in, a, in well, it's on an airplane. It's not real. Yes. It's like, sorry, Wolf <laughs> Cop. This is... Wait, Wolf Cop? I haven't seen that. Wolf oh, man, they're not yeah, gonna like, finish Let's talk about Wolf Cop. <laughs> 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 took that off Netflix, sadly. That was on. Man, 105. Okay. Um, uh -oh. They're already in there. It's, it's a herd. Yeah, I see it's that. a herd. They're coming. So that's a mechanic. Yeah. Yeah, so one of the pro bowlers' heads was decapitated and the doctor is keeping her alive. As you do. Okay, before we do the operation, I think we'd better do our sound check. I want to make sure. Are they going to cut off his head? And the brain you got. Why do you okay. need a sound check for an operation? It's it's hard to you, when you start asking questions. Where do you stop? Jan in the pan. Oh, we're waiting for the equipment to warm up. How about a nice cold glass of llama buttermilk? Oh, oh God, llama buttermilk. That sounds so appetizing. He's like he's excited about getting his head cut open. Oh right, he's gonna get a brain transplant. Yeah, brain transplant. This is like Bride of the Monster if you like 
<laughs> Leave it in the bucket of your jeans and put it through the wash. Hogwood Bowler, come in. Lane three. Hogwood Bowler, come in, Buffy. Open your left eye. Now open your right eye. Clean. They were okay. already open. Open your mouth. That is good. <laughs> and wider. Nice teeth. You're about what? 23? Thank you. I make it a habit question regularly. <laughs> Let's see how long you can Understatement of the day. Certain scenes threaten to dive into uncomfortable territory. I should say. Playing of the past. You really picked a winner this time. Make sure you wash. I don't want to have to sterilize you again. Oh! oh. No, don't bring out the scrub! <laughs> oh, this is perfect. In all, this would make a fine video party tape, even if you're not from yeah, Texas, especially if there's a jug of white lightning handing to wet your whistle. That's an MD 2020, I heard. Thanks a lot, Stigger. I really appreciate this. That's another one they ran over because they put that one in the coffin. Yeah, it's in a down the river. It looks like a llama um Yeah, that director that director quit. That's why there's bad continuity. Oh, maybe it's a cage. A, a llama disguise, maybe. I don't know. I don't understand this. Nobody understands this movie. I feel like this might be for bomb? sexual purposes. They need a sample. Oh. They need a sperm sample. Oh, okay. Thank you. For knowing what was going on. Oh, no. oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, no. 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 I hate this movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. Ruby reached the new one. Oh, that just oh. So right now the guy is like getting himself inside a fake female llama and oh, he's got a semen ampoule collector yeah. going straight into his mouth. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go use a restroom. I don't think I'm gonna miss anything. Wait, yeah, you're gonna miss. Uh, you, then you won't understand the plot when you come back. Oh my god! I want to. I have no idea what I've been watching. Oh, what's the heck of a seatbelt mask? Oh, that's Gibby, right? Was that sucking his brain out? <laughs> Through his mouth. Hey, he's making a magic trick. Uh, and stomach acid. There's another bathroom in the. In, if you go back to the master bedroom. Oh, we're all got to get out. And just in time for the fall fashion season. Just in time for the fall fashion season? No. Wait, is he alive? I don't know. Did you notice he had a heart beat since he was hooked up to his watch? Yeah. To his watch? Wristwatch. Wait, I thought that was him. So what who's on the table? I don't know. Who's on first? Okay, you know, <laughs> What's on second? I'm going to scoop out your brain. I'm going to scoop out your brain. Yes. With this a is pretty dull. Let me get the cross cut. Now that's a blade. Jeez. What? Good job. Oh, no. oh. 
He took the, he took his, uh... Come on, my leg, you know, creepy guy. You I know, can't get out of his watch. Well, I was waiting for Dr. Howard to get finished with, uh, Bob. You know, his dip didn't turn out. I wonder if he really talks like that in real life. I don't know, but he writes really weird. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> I was thinking that when Mom was around, she could make those lovers do almost anything. She had me meeting out of her hand. Man, I got nothing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we all decided that, that she must have run off with a circus geek. She was always talking about how stimulating she found them. Chuck stuck the little cross in the yard over there in her memory. Damn. So to anybody out there that's still still right. with this movie you know, at this point, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Why? He was kind of pressuring mom to decide who she liked better. Did she like the circus geek more than any of us? Sorry. Dude, you are a circus this is, geek. This is a very, very moving story. Yeah. I, I'm almost drawn to tears. Was missing out on all the, all the character development. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now he'll never know that, that uh, Gibby's mom ran off with a circus geek. Hey, what the hell? Oh, what is no. all that gonna get pressure washed? Uh oh. Oh, whoa, no. that's not how llama legs work. Well, also, the llama earlier that was hurt. holding a knife in between its hooves, so yes. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what is. It's supposed to be blood. Llama exploitation. Good. Yeah, you could say it's exploitation. They created their own genre. Uh, genre of one movie. Yes. Because <laughs> they are just. That's all the world needed. Yeah. <laughs> I never what need to see another know? llama again. Here's another review. This is not great cinema. Hell, it ain't even good enough to be considered bad cinema. <laughs> But not bad for a no-budget fun romp through a silly llama farm called the World of Wool, where we meet local animal coroner Dr. Albert, as he's porking the daylights out of his favorite llama, Bessie Sue. Some kind of deranged wet t-shirt contest. You get government grant money to do this, Doctor? That's right, little lady. Your tax dollars at work. When I saw the bowling sign, I knew I was in over my head. It's like the future was no longer mine. Oh my We're stuck God. here for a reason. Kill me now. Us. Make that thing shot slaughters. That's what I was actually just wondering. <laughs> we probably should have done this at the end of the night while we had been able to actually like drink and stuff because... Well, Rob, you're in luck because there's extra materials on the DVD. <laughs> uh. You can do anything you want it to around here. Catalina, you should, uh, you should ask him when is the sequel coming out. Well, listen up. Everything you need to say yourself is not bad, I'm sure. Sequel! Well, they, Besides, I think... I mean, y'all don't even live here. We live here, okay? This is, I knew, it was only like four hours away. Yeah. I don't want to invite this into my life. Well, I think he mentioned he was writing a sequel called Rabid Geckos or something, or Rabid Gerbils or something like that. So I, I don't think that ever got made, though. Yep. Wow. Please. <laughs> Rob is begging for the end. Oh, we got, I think we're getting another music video. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, man. That llama was so stylish with those sunglasses. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, that's what I You know, these B-movies always have to have a music video in it. I'm sorry, Nightbreed. 
You also had a music video in it. Oh, God. We're about to rock this llama to death. That's what's happening. Oh, Although I did wonder what Lori was, what, you know, like, I did wonder more about Lori, so I'm glad that they did put that back in. Yeah, yeah. In the director's cut. Yes. Yeah. Sweeney, he plays Dr. Albert in this movie, and his biography is pretty laconic. It just says Kelly Swiney is an actor and producer known for Barn of the Blood Llama. That's it. That's all he did. What is that? His IMDb? Yep. <laughs> he has an IMDb, really so he's like, damn it, Joey's missing, missing, missing everything. At least we found out that someone made it to CSI, right? Yes, that was really happy news. <laughs> Yay! Oh, okay, so the llama is now playing the keyboard. That's really going to block it out. Yeah, I'm offended by the language. Here is the biography on IMDb of Gibby, the guy who plays the, the guy with the eye patch. It says, Kirk Hunter has 30 years of experience and knowledge of motion pictures and video arts. Kirk has a technical expertise of HD, 4K, and digital, Super 8 millimeter, 16 millimeter, and 35 millimeter film formats. He has been a producer of low budget features such as Barn of the Blood Llama. You have to read it in every voice. Why are filmmaker with four sticks in 2000 slack and going with documentaries? <laughs> I just turned my head for a second. What is this? We went into a different movie. Oh, okay. oh my god. Oh, they found a brain. Gibby. Gibby's gonna get a brain. No, I said Gibby found a brain. When you ask for something as special as a brain, yes, even a finger is going to give you the runaround. Oh, yeah, Gibby, let's play catch. And then just threw himself on the ground for the camera. Oh my god! So did he lose his other eyeball? He fell down so hard that his eyes fell out. And his brain fell out. Was that wrong? Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking too! So we're not going to get to make fun of Gibby's voice anymore? Oh, man, Gibby's gone! Oh, no, Gibby! That llama took his job! So here's what Gibby's done. Uh, producer for 20 years from 1980 to 2000, known locally as kirk -Omatic. Many series shows such as Cheap Peaks and Cypherscope, Firebox, and kirk -Omatic Live. As well as teaching, oh my god, he's a teacher. Uh, <laughs> oh, teaching at ACTV camera classes and editing. A tech advisor and teacher at the Austin School of Film from 2005 to 2012. And his film and video artwork has been screened in multiple festivals, museums, and video galleries the world over. I think he wrote this stuff himself. I want to know. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, well, let's have a discussion about IMDb, okay? Because right. actually, Joe's in charge of, like, all of our IMDbs. Right. So you do. You, what you do is you just go in and you fix up your own, right. you know, your, your own yeah. profile you and everything. You can pay a little bit extra to, like, you know, get your IMDb Pro yes. and get your uh, picture on there and all that jazz. But when you have that, you can really dig in deep and like fix stuff up as fast, like really fast. And when you know, do the links yeah. and so on and so forth. But uh, our favorite IMDb story is about some guy that posted that he had an IMDb, so therefore he was legit and everyone should work with him for free. For free. For free. He had no, no other thing, nothing else other than the fact that he had an IMDb. No credits on it. What? Huh? No credits? No credits. I've seen, oh I've seen IMDb's where just random people will go and they'll put that they were in like Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man film. So, it's stupid and then people come Dude, I have an IMDb for being in a fan film from Hellraiser, so... <laughs> yeah, there's all Hellraiser fans. I'm not. Films. I'm not in any way like a uh, producer or anything. Oh, they ate him at the end. They ate Gibby? No, they ate the dog. Oh. Yeah. oh. 
That's they might have been. I want to know what he teaches his students in editing. I don't. Did he throw in Julie? You stuff for the guy with his umbilical cord sticking out. <laughs> Around here, way it doesn't matter if you switch cameras in the middle of a scene. No, Ryan, he made this movie to show them what not to do. This is a work of cinematic masterpiece. You little shits don't know what you're missing. You paid for the whole quarter in advance, so I don't care if you eat it. I'll give him that he comes up with some weird titles like Forced Exit 2000. I want to know what this movie is about. That sounds terrifying. No, yeah. I don't want to know anything that has a Forced Exit. No. Forced Exit. Forced? You've, you've yes. heard of Forced Entry. Now, here's Forced Exit. Oh. Watch him come out with like a genius movie. and He's just been punking everybody since 1997. <laughs> yes, that would be amazing. I wish he could make it. It's very, very generous. <laughs> Well, you know, I saw Peter Jackson's like first movie, and then I saw Lord of the Rings, and I was like, I can't believe they got this guy to make this bad, movie. Bad taste. Yeah, and then I was like, I saw the rest of the other movies. I was like, okay. Oh, it was well, a Peter Jackson gradually progressed until yeah. he made it to Lord of the Rings. Right. But even then, he had a hell of a time getting that done. Yeah. I've seen Meet the Frighteners, but not You've seen the Frighteners, right? Oh yeah. Or Frighteners was pretty cool. I think hands down is best, yeah. but oh man, I missed my copy. I had it on VHS. What's that? Dead yeah, alive. Yeah, no, I had it on VHS because I don't like to watch it. Cause he bought the rights, didn't he, or something like that? The film, he owns the rights to the film, so you can't. Oh, for real? Yeah, you, it used to be out on Blu-ray. Yeah. You can't get it. It's out of print. You can't get it. Oh, buy it anymore. Really? Hundreds of dollars. Why doesn't he release it? Oh wow! Maybe Peter what? Jackson doesn't want any of his old yeah. stuff, all his old splatter films, yeah, to be he released. Just be known for Lord of the Rings. Well, it wasn't in Lovely Bones and King Kong and that commercial stuff. Maybe he'll come out with like a box set of all his early films. That'd be dope. Yeah. What is he holding? Is that wool or someone's head or? I mean, it really could be either. <laughs> yeah. Hair, so. Looks like he forgot his crutches this time. Oh, I'm a animal, so do you think battering rams? Jump, wait, your mom's clothes were in the back for a reason. Think. Why? Wait, the animals are using battering rams on the barn? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they have to tell us because they're not showing here. They shake the camera around. Uh, I was wondering what was going on with the shakiness. It's, it's hard to... Is she bouncing in place? Is what? he putting a bra on? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He doesn't want the llamas to bite his nipples. Oh, I can't take this. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I can't yeah, I'm really getting rushed. Yeah, I need to get sick and bad. Have you guys seen a movie called Rollerblade? Rollerblade? Yeah. Hold it's on. It's about roller skating nuns in the post apocalyptic world where everybody has to wear skates. I think I've heard about that. That sounds, that sounds awesome. awesome. So, I'd rather that watch that movie. That's my number one worst movie until now. Oh. No, this is definitely it. I thought Rollerblade was a movie with Chris Klein. Yeah, that was Rollerball. Rollerball. That movie sucked too. So the secret to destroying the mutant llamas involves resurrecting uh, Gibby's uh, mama, who he killed and buried in the backyard because she would only have sex. No, wait, 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 what? Hang on. Jug holds a secret to destroying the mutant llamas, which involves resurrecting his dear mama. Whom he killed and buried in the backyard because she would only have sex with his younger brother Gibby. Ugh. So, so Jug and Gibby are brothers, and that's their mama. I had I thought she left. I thought that she had gone with the circus guy. Yeah. Okay. So maybe he lied. He killed her. I, I guess. And now if she's. Anyone's guess. Luckily, Jose's reading the script for us. I know. <laughs> Mama. Mama, Mama loves, loves her llama? llama. Oh my gosh. Because all the llamas want is to be loved. This movie's a hardcore result of nobody questioning the That's how you fight the, the male producer. berserker syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> is that this was recorded on someone's llama? Yes. Like three llamas. Like, yeah, over the course of how long? Four years or 
Oh, oh. Three different yeah. Yeah. And it had eight different Five directors. different directors, yeah. and then like three or four different DPs, I think you said. Can you imagine the, gross. The, the llama farmer seeing them shooting this and going, can we get out of this? <laughs> That's why they had to use three llama farms. Yeah, right. I, I got a, a weird bit of trivia I want to put here, because we see all the llamas go into the barn, and um, it just made me think, you know when cows are being taken off of trucks and taken to the butcher, uh, to, the, to the abattoir? There's a cow that usually is brought out and 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 attracts the cows to go inside the abattoir. That cow is usually called a Judas cow. The Judas cow. Oh. Yes, that's what they use to make the cows come out of the uh, truck and go follow her into the abattoir. Oh, wow. Isn't that isn't that like sick? Yeah, that's really mean. Sonder command cows. Okay, I guess they're not fans of Jesus Christ Superstar because Judas was just trying to save them, man. <laughs> This was just a guy. Just See, why couldn't the whole movie just look like that? Yeah, that yeah. With that kind of lighting. I mean, is that a fart? Is that a fart? Is that a fart? No, the llama Oh, okay, there's, that, uh, there's the barn that they built. Okay, well that actually is a lot better than what I thought was going to happen because I honestly thought they were all just going to run a train on the mom. Also known as, we don't have an ending for the movie so we're just going to say that everybody burned and they all died. Yeah. I'm gonna remake this movie. Yeah. We actually do know someone with a llama farm. We do. Uh oh. We do. But all these artistic choices I don't agree with. Yes. I don't think. Oh, you should do what Darren Lynn Bozeman did with Mother's Day. Make it super uh, hardcore, narcissistic, and depressing? Yeah. That movie was hard to watch. It was good though. It was way better. <laughs> Wait, does she have mama legs? Is that Jibby? So when he was cross-dressing, he was resurrecting the spirit of his mother? I don't. So now his mama's soul is in him through llama? That's the extent of it. Or maybe the mother's in him? In her? Is I guess. Wait, is that animal lover? So he, he yeah. always want he always wanted to be a cripple because that's what his mom wanted. So that's why he had crutches all the time. Oh. oh okay. Okay. That makes sense. I think Michael Bay should buy this movie. Yeah. It's more explosions. I don't really know. Wait, since you're yeah, talking about that, you're uh, Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher. There you go. Who we bought? Oh, no, he... Yeah. Oh, oh uh, no, don't say that. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Please oh. tell me no. <laughs> Is she pregnant by a llama? Yes. Mama llama. We pretty hard from the film of the llama. I think he's a boxer now, right? Yeah. I'll write that one down. Yes. 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 Yeah. Make fun of llama llama. Look at all her ass. Is that it? Yes! This film is dedicated to the memory of white trash enthusiast and confidant Donald Martin Rackett, 1958, whatever. So what's everyone's, uh, well, how does everyone feel about that film? I feel like I need a drink. I never <laughs> want to watch that again. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. It I did. Never. That was actually really brutal. And I know they don't mention that it was pretty bad, but I really, really did not understand the depths of how terrible it was. I don't think there's any coming back from that. Kirk Hunter is Gibby. Yes. But does he go by Gibby on the on the Facebook? He goes by Gibby on Facebook. Yeah. yeah I mean, he has yeah, the... two profiles. I have him on uh, as Kirk so I don't know. Uh, Let me see if I can find it in all my messed up Frightman like discussions. Line, uh, he may speak like that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Gibby Jacoby. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. Dan Hauser. 
ethereal harvest. Clive Barker as himself. Thanks, Clive, for that. Yeah. Of course, it has to be the biggest club. So wait, they what? Did he hold Clive at gunpoint again? What exactly happened? How, I know you said it like four times, but yes. I just yeah. I can't wrap my head around it. I'll say it again. I think he was in town to promote uh, some comic books and some books that he was putting out. And then one of these producers uh, worked for a public access TV channel and they wanted to make a movie and they wanted to get a studio. And then they said, well, if you can get Clyde Barker to be in her film, we'll let you use the studio. So they wrote up something and shot him saying it, the male berserker Just syndrome. Right there, like a Q&A. Yes. And, and then... They got the studio and they made the movie. And what was Clive's response to this? That he was like, "Whatever, I don't care. Just get away from." You me. know what? You got a, you got a, you got a, an interesting idea. Let me see if there's anything on the Clive Barker website about this movie. <laughs> yeah, on Revelations, yeah. Born of the Blood Llama. This might be one of those things that Phil and Sarah say, "Oops, we drew a blank on this." Let's see, Born of the Blood Llama. So we purposely Llama. left that off the there's website. Probably. Maybe. I'll figure it out. Alright, so that was Barn of the Blood Mama. I yep. guess we're signing off. Okay. Thank you so much. Find the show notes for this episode and join the discussion over at www.clivebarkercast.com where we have news and links to all the ways you can connect with us. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and every other place you can find podcasts. The Clive Barker Podcast is an independent editorial podcast and news blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Sarah Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Thanks for listening.